Hey everybody, uh, it's Carmen here. I just wanted to get on to go through some best practices using our stoneware crystal glazes. There's been a lot of chatter regarding muddy waters and issues um, using it. So I just wanted to go through uh, just opening a pint of glaze, stirring in the crystals, and how that should look when you're actually using the glaze. So to start with, I've got a brand new pint of Muddy Waters here. Um, the crystals are at the bottom. You can see some of them there, um, but the glaze is filled in underneath the rest of them. So it's really hard to tell how many crystals are in a pint by just looking at the bottom. Um, all of the crystals are measured by a machine when we are bottling the glaze, they're put, they're scooped into the bottom and then we put the glaze on top of the crystals. So that's why we have to stir them into the glaze. So first I'm just going to open my pint up. Got our heat sealer here for freshness. So okay, I've got my glaze here. And you can see there are no crystals, maybe a couple dispersed into there. But I'm just going to take my, my spoon and scoop at the bottom. You can actually even hear the crystals as I scrape them up. So I'm just going to use my spoon here and you can see we're getting some crystal dispersion into the glaze now. There's little flecks. So I really like to go around this bottom kind of corner, make sure they're not glumped in there, and then scraping across here. Okay, so I feel comfortable with how I've broken up these crystals from the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and actually put my lid back on nice and tight and shake it up. Once I have my pint shaken up, I can go ahead and open my jar again. And here you can see, hopefully, there are, I can see the crystals in here. But just to help with dispersion, it might be useful to scoop it out on a plate. That way I can really see those crystals. So I'm taking my spoon all the way from the bottom. You can even still hear the crystals grinding. Get that onto a plate. And this just helps me pick up the crystals with my brush. So when you're using our brushing glazes, we recommend to use a fully loaded fan brush. This is our RB140. Um, soft number eight fan, so it's a bit larger than um, some other fan brushes that we make, but I like to use these for crystal glazes and mostly stoneware glazes just to really help layer that glaze onto our piece here. So I'll go ahead and start applying my glaze. So you can see here the crystals are really easy to find when it's laid out on a plate. And I'm fully loading this fan brush here, so I really like scooping it up. And you see, as soon as my uh, brush starts to pull on the piece, I load it up with more, more glaze. So there's one coat. I've spread it out. We can just do the inside for educational purposes here. Here is the crystal loading from one coat of glaze. 
So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. And then we will come back for our second coat. All right, so our first coat is pretty dry. You can see the uh, crystals on here. So we'll go ahead and do our second coat. And we'll set that aside to dry. Again, using this plate is really helpful um, because it really just brings all those crystals up to the surface. You don't have to be scooping for them with your brush. They're right there and ready to get scooped up here. So that's super, super helpful. So while that is drying, another thing that I wanted to kind of discuss is the performance of the base glaze. So a lot of people have complained or been disappointed that they find the results to be a little bit more on the muddy side. So here actually I have a test tile that I did. So here I've got the test tile here and it's one through five coats. So as you can see, five coats is a lot more waters and a lot less muddy. And then the one coat is pretty dry. You can see a couple crystals, but not a lot of that movement um, that I personally really, really enjoy in this glaze. So um, the reason I'm discussing this is basically because all of this beautiful blue color, it's brought out by the crystals, but it is also a, a uh, property of the actual base glaze. So on the back here, I've done one, two, three, four, five coats using just leather. So um, as you can see, when you get up to four and five coats and in the areas that it pools, this glaze will turn a glossy blue just by itself. So beyond just counting or like making sure you have enough crystals on your piece, you wanna make sure that you're applying that glaze really nice and heavy in order to have these blue colors come out. Um, if you're a light glazer or maybe you're not even using the right brush or something of that nature, that's going to affect your fire results. So if you have a thin base glaze application and a lot of crystals, you could still get results that look like this. So you really want to make sure you're loading that glaze up and that you're getting an, a decent amount of crystals dispersed onto your piece. That's why I really like using this big fat fan brush on here. Um, that really helps load your glaze up. So here is my second coat, getting pretty dry. Got a lot of crystals on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do my third coat. And I'll go ahead and post what this looks like uh, once it's fired uh, in the comments section, just so that you guys can see um, a lot of complaints that we've had are that there aren't crystals in the glaze. Um, so I just thought I would get on here and show you guys how to make sure you're accessing those crystals that are in the glaze. Um, and if you still don't think that you can find any crystals or you're having trouble getting the results you want, of course, please contact us. Um, let our technical team know we want to help you. We want to make sure that you get the best use out of our glazes. We hate to hear um, that you aren't happy with something that you're getting or it's not what you expected. So if you do want to talk to our technical team to help troubleshoot some more, you can give us an email or a call. I'll add the contact info in this post. But when you are reporting problems to technical, you want to look at your jar here and we are going to need this lot number. So anytime you would report a technical issue, we will actually seek out the lot number and do testing with that exact lot number to make sure that 
nothing was wrong with that batch when we manufactured it. So please report the lot numbers. If there's pints out there that don't have as many crystals as they're supposed to, we really need to know about it and have it reported so that we can fix the issue um, at its core. So please, I hope that this video was helpful in how to use our crystal glazes. If you have any more questions, definitely feel free to comment. I'm happy to answer them. Um, yeah, and I hope that everybody has a great day. Bye.